Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Dili. Yes. Wala pa kasulod si Zed nung kainay daw lang internet. Si mag-aso, ma'am. Zed, ma'am. Masulod daw siya o magmakaya na sa internet, ma'am. Okay, sige, sige. Okay, ma'am. Si ano po dito? Okay. Si ano po dito, ma'am? Si Hayana po dito, ma'am. Si? Hayana ta here, ma'am. Si Hayana, o. Nagpot ka sa lito. O, ako po dito ganina. Nag-insult po dito. Sige lang. Kay, ano gud, na yung problema ng internet. Kay ganina, kapila ko na po ito sa akong klase. Si times ko na po ito. Wala ko kabalag. Klase ko sa mag-sound off mo. Pag numutan na ko, hindi ko, kakita sa inyo kung namino ba mo or dili. Okay. <laughs> so, say, again, attendance, Mark, Shaven, Nisi, John, Jenny Rose, John Aldison, Divine, Fritz, Faith, Evade, John Lloyd, Art Joseph, Johnny Larry, Christine Darrell. Napaka wala na mention. One, two, three. They are supposed to be 23 of you. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty lang yan. So, sino pa yun? Hindi ko na mention. Tingnan natin, show everyone daw. Si Art, Christine, Tai Chi, Daryl, Dennis, Divine Faith, si Fritz, si Hillary, si Jan Vincent, General, Sean Lloyd, Jan Allen, Jan Aldison, July Ann, Jan Ray Mark, Mary Christine, Nisi, Prime, Big. Okay, so record na 23. Okay, so we'll start our presentation on our topic for today, which I hope you're going to enjoy kay Manisha. This is Math in um, Music and Dance in Mathematics. We'll start with the following from the beginning. Can you see the screen? Can yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma so we're going to discuss yes, about... Okay, math dance, or to be precise, we have actually here your music and dance in mathematics. Na? So first, the math dance muna. There are a lot of similarities in every dance, okay? So we have to use all angles, geometric shapes, line segments, then diamonds, parallel, or right angles. The mathematical dance moves, I don't know if you're familiar with your graph dance. So this is what you call your sine function. So you have your sine x, cosine x, and then tangent. Then your cotangent graph it looks like this. So when you dance, yun yung mga graph may dance. Ang inyong, this one is your um, absolute value function. So pag ganyan, no? Parang V. Tapos ang line, you have your x, y equal to x na function is this z y cos x squared is actually your uh, parabola which opens upward then x squared plus y squared is your circle then you have your square root of x square root of negative x can you see the screen kita niyo yung mga sketches crap. yes ma'am okay ma crap ibig sabihin, crap ibig sabihin na ano na yan wala na yan so ballet uses many types of math uh, it uses physics and many things. You see people do lifts and dance all the time. So in order to calculate the amount of power you need to be able to lift a person, then you have to make use of physics and math actually. Nah? So in most types of dance, they use physics in turns. So a dancer needs to know how much power they have to use to make the full turn without over or under turning it. Otherwise, you'll meet an accident pag hindi ninyo uh, makalculate or matansya kung gaano kayo kabilis dapat mag-turn, okay? In ballet, dancers create circles while executing this opero and run jambe. So movements are executed making use of that one. So in hip-hop, you, you, you count up the beats. In hip-hop, you really use angles and geometric shapes. So in hip-hop, you use math to help synchronize the dancers. You have to count. Sino mga dancers sa inyo? Dapat, di ba, may counting, may beat. Otherwise, yung movement, Dennis, sino hindi. Yeah. Sino si? Denise? Ah, Denise. <laughs> uh, uh, Denise, you have to make use of counting, di ba? Para ma-follow ang beat. So, 
We use math for measurements for costumes and themes. So for tap dancing, the metal plate in the bottom of the shoe has to be screwed on a certain angle in order to make the right sound. Otherwise, it'll pack yung sound niya pag mali yung, yung angle ng nung metal na ilalagay sa, sa, sa shoe. There are three elements of dance. They are space, time, and you have your energy. So people say mathematics is a study of patterns. So you already had gone through that, no? So I mean to say choreography can be mathematics because when you choreograph, you have certain patterns, no? Dance displays pattern symmetry such as reflection, rotation, translation, that's supposed to be translation, and glide. So in all types of dance, you make geometry shapes with your body, such as triangles, two triangles, or square, or circles, etc. If you take a look at these people dancing here, and then this one, these are movements wherein reflection is actually um, illustrated. In here, the ballet dancers here, they are turning, no? they need to turn. So ito, there are certain patterns that they have to do. So the, in tap dancing, you make various moves to make different sounds with the metal plates in the bottom of your shoe. So the dancer makes different angles with his or her foot in order to make these sounds. So again, math is very important in dancer's life. Why? You, use, you have to use math to count out the beats and it creates a rhythm for the dance. Take a look at this. Kung hindi kayo magkakasabay-sabay if you do not count, no? Then the body, uh, for the category, you have your body, the time, space, and relationship. Students use a majority of whole body actions, either gestures, locomotor patterns, or body shapes during their dance. You also have to use your rhythm, either an even or even or tempo in their dance sequence that matches the music they pick. Can you imagine ang dance na hindi magmatch ang movement sa, sa ano? <laughs> Mag-movement. So you are slow dancing and then ang music kay, kay mabilis? Di ba? Hindi siya magbagay. Manayaw, no? eh, ma'am. Ha? Manayaw, eh, ma'am. Manayaw mo. Nana sa inyong project. So, depende sa inyong project. Di ba? Kasi part of your project would be all the things that you learned in Jack 104. So, if you, if you already had seen the samples of the projects, okay, then it's all up to you kung ano yung klase na within the three to five minutes na video, kayo ang bahala kung anong gagawin ninyo for all the things that you learned. Diba? Okay. So, I hope na nakita niyo na yung mga sample videos. Kaya kung ba nang good video or just simply Yung ba na yun sila, animation lang nila. So, depende na lang sa inyong pag-present. Pinaka-minute. So, in that span of five minutes, what are you going to do to illustrate what you had learned in Jack 104? Okay? So, how is dance related to maths? So, music and rhythm shapes, movements, executed sp spatial organization, and symmetry. So, it actually are your... Dance requires the use of some mathematical terms and topics, especially when you are dealing with music and rhythm. What is music and rhythm? So dancers must constantly be counting their steps. Balik-balik na niya, no? You have to actually count in order to keep time with the music. Why? Because if they miss a beat, they will no longer be synchronized with other dancers. Okay? Actually, that's an obvious thing. So dancers forms angles. Lines and simple shapes with their arms and legs, such as circles, triangles, as well as more complex shapes. Take a look at this one. To mga to, uh, they will be pleasing to look at because of the angles that they make when we when they dance. So, dancers use their bodies to create straight and curved lines. Okay. Sp spatial organization. So in order to maximize dance space and make it possible for all dancers to be seen in dance, use different types of geometric formations. You have your parallel lines, you have circles, just like this one. Sometimes you use squares. No? So that is to maximize the okay, to maximize the part wherein all dancers can be seen. Yung mga arrangement nila, okay? geometrical formations. 
kanay dili na makita nang sa likod pero kung i-angle na in such a way nga nga kanang ang ang, ang uban makita sa likod dapat lahi ang pagka-arrange ba so our body is a representation of symmetry it also helps dancers it helps dancers balance and dancers are constantly moving their bodies across the stage so that it reflects same the same pattern so di ba ang mga steps balik-balik ang mga movements balik-balik and it shows actually patterns and we learned earlier na patterns are actually math no? mathematics involve patterns how about math and music math and music have always been considered closely connected in many ways so this one, I don't know if you if you believe this, but it is widely believed that students who do well in music also excel in math. So let's take a look at some of the basic components of music and see what math has to do with them. So rhythm and measures time. Rhythm measures time. Measure is the space between two bar lines. Uh, you are familiar with this one. Sino may, may music ba kayo ng high school or elementary? Diba? Nagme-measure, measure kayo ng... May, may music kayo? Okay, wala. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, meron. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Mm. When you play a different notes together, even repeat the same note on an instrument, you actually create something called rhythm. It says here, music theory is like a beautiful math problem. Music and math are a lot act alike, actually. Pero sabi niya sa music guitar is said, I'm terrible at math. Pero really na terrible sa math ang mga musically inclined people. And most of the time, musically inclined people also excel in mathematics. Music is made up of sound. Sound is made from repeating sound waves. The musical pitch of each note has corresponding frequency measured physically in hertz or cycles per second. So Pythagoras believed that the Greek octave had a mere five notes. Pythagoras pointed out that each note was a fraction of a string. So this one, medyo ano na to mano, about sa mga length ng note. So let's just leave it at that. But this one, Pythagoras was excited by the idea that these ratios were made up of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So Pythagoras imagined a music of the spheres that was created by the universe. <coughs> are, you, are you familiar with J.S. Bach? Familiar kayo? Yes, ma'am. Mm, okay. So 8th century yes, music of J.S. Bach had mathematical undertones. So, I'm not familiar with Philip Glass, pero see, J.S. Bach, if you listen to his music, it has actually mathematical undertones. So, the golden ratio and Fibonacci, if you remember, we discussed golden ratio and Fibonacci, and we know that there is a connection between the golden ratio and Fibonacci. In fact, there's also a connection between Fibonacci and your fractals. Okay? So, the so fractals, uh, we also discussed fractals last time. So this time, it is believed that some composers wrote their music using the golden ratio and the Fibonacci numbers to assist them. Because we know that if it's in golden ratio, it's something that's good. It's something that is aesthetically pleasing. So the golden ratio 1.61802398887 T3, was also used by composers to write their music. Okay? And... The Fibonacci numbers assist them actually. Uh, you, you are familiar with the Fibonacci numbers. It is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and down the line. Which is 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, and 13 plus 21 is equal to what? Yeah? Oh, 13 plus 21. So, you have 34, the 30 of course, yes, 34. 34 plus 21 will give you the next Fibonacci number and down the line. Now, 
this one is actually an activity that is done after this topic in music but because of, because we are not in our classroom situation now i we will just do away with this one and just accept that <laughs> the students who play musical instrument actually have better grades in mathematics so ito yung mga findings no? that those who are good at math uh good at music actually are also good at music so tanggapin na lang natin at this point kasi otherwise magre-research kayo so i um it will this will take a longer time so just do away with this activity i'll give you other activities which will only involve um lesser amount of effort okay so in the, we do away with this activity already recommended videos are as follows so pero itong ito, mga ito i would like you to watch this ha itong itong mga video instead of okay making that activity you have to watch all these videos these are mga five five three to five minute videos so iba kay uh, kunyari ito two thirty uh, two thirty six so kinat ko na yung ibang portion ito lang ang tingnan nyo, starting at 2.36 at 2.22 and the rest. So that you would have more ideas about music and dance and music, dance, and mathematics. Okay? Now, the other one will be um, a topic on, we call this one, data visualization. Data visualization is actually the topic that was that was given to me to discuss. So I already had posted data visualization to YouTube because it was done before our class. But I'm going to discuss it again here. So let me, and then you can watch again the video let, later on for, so that you can, I'll just stop sharing muna. And then, i-end muna natin yung recording para mapunto ito dito. Then I'll start again.